I, I want to ask you now about the uh, topic of um, ETs because it, there's been an interesting development with the POTUS. Uh, I noticed in January he was asked about whether he believed in ETs and he said the words not particularly. But there's just been an interview with his son, uh, Donald Trump Jr., where his son at the end of the interview asked him about Roswell, the Roswell incident. And he said there were some very interesting things about it. And then um, he also was asked by his son if he would explore this topic any further. And he said he'd have to think about that or in those sorts of words. So I think that's a real shift that's happened. And, and it's a you know, intentional shift. It's, an, it's a strategy in a sense that he, he, he already was getting so much flack back in January. He couldn't have possibly brought the topic forward at that time. But now... He, you can see this gradual um, opening to uh, disclosure happening. So what do you think is going to happen there in terms of uh, this topic and um, the POTUS and, and how it will evolve so that it, it, there becomes this disclosure? Do you think it will be very soon that that happens or what are your thoughts there? Uh, I believe it's going to happen after the mass arrest, after... Um, what's that event that we're looking for? The, uh, the, the 10 Days of Darkness. Yeah. I think it's going to be happening after those events. And it's going to happen in a, in a way there where the, the government is officially announcing that we have other lives form in the cosmos. So that way the religious people now can have either accept or reject as well too. That would also determine where they're going to, what, what, version of the plant they're going to be placed on because you know the bible the, 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 the quran and the torah all these religious scriptures they never teach their their followers about other et life they teach them about demons and angels which is also a, a form of et as well too but never mentioning the other type so it will be interesting to see how many portion of that collective will start to accept or reject the POTUS, you know, he is allowed to disclose information when it's closer to the appropriate timing, you know. Yeah. So when he said he's not particularly believing in ET, I don't believe that. That's a certain amount of disinformation he has to put out there so that way he doesn't get bombarded with any more information. But he's now slowly uh, opening up to, to get people prepared for this soft disclosure. Exactly. If you're expecting the ET, land here to introduce himself it's not happening because our collective is still a violent race still very much fear based so we still have that mixture of attack fear based people and people who are loving and receptive they want to come when we're, the whole collective is loving and receptive and in 5d state of consciousness and who can blame them for that I mean, I think that's smart on their behalf. <laughs> so, you know, they're pure love. They're so loving, pure, and joy. And you don't want to be mingling with a group of people who have nukes <laughs> on the planet and, and, you know, and all these weapons and they have a reptilian mentality. They're going to attack somebody that they don't know and they don't like. So, of course, they're not going to be disclosing themselves in a, in a collective way like that. But... I think the disclosure happens on a personal level first before it happens on a collective level. Yeah, I agree. Um, so my other question is, how do people sort of reconcile that they may have to, if, they, if they're like really aware and they're going into a ascended state themselves, because they have the, the awareness and they know exactly what's going on and they're very collect, connected spiritually and all those sorts of things and they're in unity consciousness. How do they reconcile letting go of, you know, um, the family and friends and people like that that will be going off into the other um, state of consciousness? It's not that challenging. I'll explain why. When you're ascending, you let go of a lot of many old habits that don't resonate with you drinking alcohol, hang out with people who are just mind control, watching mindless control, mind, mindless TV pro, those activities no longer resonate with you. And the people who still do these type of activities, you're not going to be really resonating with them either because you're not going to have much in common with them. So you're going to slowly not want to interact with them because 
the time in the day is so short now. It's getting shorter and shorter. It's, it's speeding up. The illusion of time is speeding up. So you already have so little time in the day for yourself. You, are you going to really be spending with someone who, who you don't resonate and you're going to be arguing about because they're bashing Trump and you, you like Trump? No. So you probably won't be hanging out with those people. Anyways. So this is how the timeline is splitting, that you're going to branch out and you're going to you know, start developing a new circle of friends that are more awakened, that are on this path that you are vibrating on. And you got, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe. And when you're vibrating at a different frequency, you're going to be attracting a different collective that has the same frequency as you. So I don't see it as being a problem because I'm already having friends in my life in this particular timeline already dropping out of my timeline. Two of them have to move back to their home country where it's still very much controlled by their government and they're not really happy and they're, they're stuck in their, in their timeline. But it's because their consciousness is stuck. I live abroad, my family lives back in Canada, so I've already detached, you know, I, I talk to them very sparingly. We're, we're, when we talk, we have, a, we have a fine relationship. They came here and visit me here. But um, we're not, I don't need to talk to my family on a weekly basis or, or daily basis. You know, I have my own life. They have their own life. We connect once in a while to see how each other's doing. But it's not like that, that, that how other families are like. But once you see that, that there's going to be very little in common, you're going to just naturally separate anyways. And it's about acceptance. The attachment is the thing, isn't it? You know, that spiritual yeah. principle, that spiritual lesson in, in, you know, Buddhism, they talk about the importance of non-attachment. So uh, it's letting go and surrendering yeah. whatever Everything. doesn't serve you. Yeah. So detachment was something I learned very a long time ago uh, when I was living from moving from Vancouver to LA and I had to pretty much detach from everything. All my belongings were left in Vancouver. I had to come move to LA with a two suitcase. So I had to learn detachment from a long, long time ago. So it's not that bad. I mean, your body is temporary too. You have to, you know, accept that too, that you're going to eventually have to detach from your physical body. So mm -hmm. might as well just start accepting the process right now, detach from your body, detach from your family, detach from your, your environment just know that you're here for a temporary experience i mean the the, the sooner you wake wake up to the to that truth i mean it's easier for you to like oh whatever <laughs> you know it's just for your amusement it's just for you to have an experience that's all it is reality is an illusion but it's there for you to have an experience and the the richness from the experience is what you want to focus on because your consciousness is here to expand to to for soul evolution is growth and the only thing that's going it takes the only thing that's going to take with itself is the experience is the lessons that's the only thing that's true value that's going to be adding to your oversoul right yes and and so what's the greatest thing, Nyla, just as, as we finish up? You know, there's so much wonderful information here that you've shared. It's been, it's been wonderful. So thank you. What's the greatest thing that you're looking forward to in that ascension process of when we, we get to that next phase? Is there something particular that you're really excited about experiencing as you? I'm really excited to experience this grand solar flash. I mean... This is going to be the one that's going to be activating our light body. And this ascension is particularly uh, unique. It has never happened before in the cosmos in that we're actually taking our physical form with us. Usually when you ascend, you, you die, you get a new physical form. So this is why there's so many galactic beings surrounding the planet witnessing this ascension because this has never happened before like i said to you this is a this is an experiment that has never done before and now they're here witnessing and anticipating how this is going to play out and, and and move into this 5d frequency because we're we're changing our carbon-based body into now our crystalline based body and it's and this solar flash is going to help activate that so this is going to be something that i want to see how how it's going to play out it's going to be exciting Ah, it, it'll be great to be in that light body and experience the, 
that that luminescence and <laughs> and whether we'll be see through and all those sorts of things. That'll be quite fun. <laughs> oh well, thank you so much, Nyla. Um, I really love talking to you today. There's just such a wealth of information. <laughs> it's going to take people a while to integrate it all. And a continued success with, with the, and, and, and really I know that it's all about awakening the masses with your um, 3D to 5D consciousness YouTube channel. So check it out. Everyone. It's a wonderful channel. And there are a lot of videos there that you can catch up on if you haven't watched them before. And I think you're doing a great job for this uh, ascension process. So a uh, big thank you to your shining soul, Nyla. And it's been a wonderful chat today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And enjoy the conversation as well. Great. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs> I am love, I am light, I am peace. I am love, I am light, I am peace.